morning guys it is the day of the Adelaide trip as you guys can see in the background the Saintside van is here with us we currently just five seconds ago were at the pink lake I highly do not recommend it for girls I highly recommend it for guys you're gonna be stuck there for at least half an hour taking dumbass selfies for your girlfriend anyway guys let's get back on the road sorry to interrupt your current view of the vlogs guys I've got a question from Tura is there going to be any leftover box logo purple ones for the Melbourne pop-up? I actually have no idea. If there is, I will bring them to the Melbourne pop-up at Sneaker Freaker. And also, the, another question was, is there going to be an exclusive Melbourne t-shirt? No. There isn't an exclusive Melbourne t-shirt. I'm sorry guys, but I'm making you guys an exclusive jumper. So currently, you guys know that we got our embroidery machine. What I really want to work on is a different patch. I'm actually trying to make a denim box logo. So what I would like to do is distress a jacket, cut the jacket up, embroid my logo on it, and then embroid that patch onto a jumper, which should be next level. Anyway guys, get back to the vlog. Still on the road, It's we have two and a half hours left until we get to Adelaide. It's been a long drive. Um, me and Philly always take turns, so as soon as one of us start getting tired or we plan it out to any pit stops, we go to a pit stop, we get coffee, we get drinks, get food, get what we need. Toby, right there. Um, we are going to be staying in some hotel that's 10 minutes away. I. I'm not enjoying these rides anymore and I'm actually dreading the Sydney drive when we go to Sydney and we're trying to plan out how we're going to go to Perth and Brisbane because Perth and Brisbane isn't a drive away like you could drive to Perth but it'll take you a whole week like <laughs> let's do it definitely not doing that I have a week to give up and then Brisbane you can drive it if you go to like if you go to Sydney and then you go to Brisbane that's okay but if you're going There's straight to Brisbane it's just there, it's just not worth it. Um, we're definitely gonna fly up there, send, either send all our stuff there or pack it with us. Yeah, I'm really not sure how we're gonna do any of that. Anyway guys, let's just keep driving and I'll speak to you guys soon. He's their friend of me. Now with this the fit. Oh, what? We can't be level one, that's laundry. What room, babe? 101. One. Babe, we're literally the first room. Like, literally. One. One, oh, one. First room, see? Straight up. Hey, guys. Watch this. Ready? One, two. Magical. We have clamp lamps in. No, I was just... I couldn't get into the door before and I had this shot all planned out after it all up anyway we're finally at the hotel we're staying at the sage hotel i can't wait to see you guys tomorrow we're actually just gonna uh sit down and have a rest nothing real fancy about this uh hotel so it's not bad i think it's nice it's just normal like it's i'm like not a normal yeah, hotel, yeah it's just, just a normal hotel like old people, no offense. yeah it just smells musky Muskies like mothballs. <laughs> like mothballs. That's what this hotel smells like. So we're gonna go out to have dinner. We have no idea who we're going out to have dinner with at the moment. Um, just because we just landed. A Jay from the just kickstand. Just landed, eh? We just landed. We technically did. Um, Jay from the kickstands here as well. Uh, Lawrence is on his way as well. So we have a whole bunch of options. But really, I cannot be bothered. Oh, that thing that nice. Finally getting something to eat. We are at a place called. It is called Bread and Bone. Bread and Bone. It's supposedly really good. It's like a four point six star rating. And all the guys from the kickstand are already upstairs. We're meeting them later. I think we might be going out, but I feel like we're not. I don't know. I think we need to rest up because tomorrow's going to be a really long day. We've had a long day driving today. Or secretly, we can just get really drunk and feel like we can just knock out and go to sleep. Yeah, true. That's a great idea.
our Adelaide city right now. There's literally only one street that goes up and down the whole Adelaide. It's really strange, and there's one bit that has a lot of clubs at Let Them Talk. And the really popular thing about this place is shisha. There's shisha stores all over, like every single second restaurant. And come this way. Big shout out to me for showing us around in Adelaide. She's been so helpful. <laughs> and she's our OG subscriber. She sent us our first ever fan mail. It was, and we still have like the photo frame on our desk and everything. And I kept the card that you wrote on as well. Oh, such ugly handwriting. It's actually really good. We are I'm playing this game called 13. So you get 13 cards, it's like poker, it's an Asian version of it. I'm actually smashing both of these guys, they're losing really bad and they're both trying to team up to me. This is I'm not trying to team up, I'm trying to right win here. by myself. Hey. You're trying to team up, you're just trying to not me. I just don't want him to win behind the camera. So I'm trying to make Toby win and Toby just doesn't even appreciate that I'm trying to help him. <laughs> no, no. no, you guys have just been losing in general. So how many games have you won? One. Out of how many? <laughs> I don't know, I can't remember. Like 20. <laughs> no, but this is the deciding round and then we're done. So if he wins, then it's game over. If me and Toby win, we still have a fighting chance. So let's do it. I'm going to win. Trust. I can trust these have cards. Have you even looked at your cards? No. Watch this, guys. I'm going to win. You guys ready? Jack, Queen, King, Ace. That's what I'm going to play. No, you're not. I am. Yes. Philly's trying to swap cards. <laughs> yes, I have a king. Pass no, you can't. No, I want not. Watch, fast. watch me win. Watch it's me win. Fast, then. Watch me win. Can you beat it? He's gonna win! Watch me win! You can't Watch do win. this! Watch me win! Oh, come on! Can you beat that, Toby? You can't! Trust me, you can't. I know I'm you telling can't. you, I told you, you should have passed me that king. I'm telling you, you can't. You, you can't, can't beat win. it because... No, get over it! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, cool. Everyone pass? Yeah, pass. Double two. Highest twos as well. No one's gonna beat that. I chop you! I Go. chop you! Go chop me. See what happens. You can't. You don't have it. You're missing a nine. Stop trying to judge. Okay, what the hell is that? Yeah, it's yeah. That's my God. What the hell is that? Stop cheating. You lost. What the heck? You can't beat that either. Double four, double five. No, you're missing one. Double six. For for a doubles, you need a fourth one. You need four no, consecutive. What, 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 Thank you for watching our video guys, hope you guys enjoyed it. By the time you guys watch this vlog, we will be back on the way home from Adelaide. So I appreciate everyone who actually did come down to the... I have fur on my camera lens. What is going on? I appreciate everyone that came down to the Adelaide pop-up. I can't wait to see you guys next week for the Melbourne Sneaker Freaker meet. So all the information I will pop right there. So that will be the following weekend. So if you guys are from Melbourne, don't forget we do the pop-up at Sneaker Freaker every single time they release an event. And the week after the Sneaker Freaker event will be the first online drop. This will have zero of the new items that I've been teasing on these videos. So all the stuff that you guys see on the Instagram, like the camo jacket, the purple box logo, the mask, uh, the tech tees uh the new female range all that kind of stuff that are on the instagram like for you guys to view the denim jackets are not included that most definitely was just a teaser until i will make a exclusive pop-up just for all that seasonal stuff i really want to find a place somewhere in the melbourne cbd that i can hire the shop out for two or three days fit it all out, deck it all out, and actually make a proper pop-up shop. Because from now on, I really want to do an experience more than anything else, rather than just a shop that people just walk in, buy their goods, and walk out. I don't want it to be in a grocery shop. But anyway, guys, I'll speak to you guys tomorrow. Once again, thank you for everyone to come down to Adelaide, and I hope you guys enjoy the Adelaide pop-up video. Production.com